What is going on, everybody? Welcome on into the Faithful Studio. I am Tyson, for those of you that know. For those of you that don't, welcome on in. I am Tyson with Faithfully Bearded, and we talk about beard stuff. And today, a lot of us remember being kids playing Nintendo. And if you didn't play Nintendo, you at least know what a Nintendo is, generally. And there is beard companies that have made great products. There's beard companies that have been creative. There's beard companies that have done a whole bunch of cool things. And now it seems the trend is making uh, themes and things like that. And one of the guys that got onto a theme that really can go wherever you want it to go is 8-Bit Beard Co. And I got some new products from Sean over there at 8-Bit Beard Co. Out of Ohio. Let me hear my Ohio people give this video a thumbs up and write a comment down below. Are you an Ohio eight Ohioan? Ohio? I mean, I am. A, I'm a Chiefs fan, and they beat the Browns. And so I don't know. I mean, hopefully none of the Browns fans hold it against us because they're going to be good, right? Okay. So let's get into this uh, talking, this conversation about Eight Bit Beard Co. And we're going to do that right after this. <music> So we got a lot of cool different products from 8-Bit Beard Co. And the one that I happen to be wearing today is called King Koopa. King Koopa. And I mean, it looks like Bowser. I think it's Bowser. Maybe it's Koopa. Is his name Koopa? I don't know. But anyway, this is a tobacco vanilla twist. And you can see on the label here, like, look at this thing. It is 8-bitted up. It looks like 8-bit. Let me, how does this work? Do we just go, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, that's right. And uh, you got the whole 8-Bit Beard Co. on there. Uh, he does all the design himself and makes it all 8-Bit. You got Babassu oil, castor oil, obsidian oil, golden jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, cucumber seed oil, fragrance oil, and essential oils. Oh my gosh, this is some crazy stuff. Obsidian oil, a lot of people like that. I like that hemp seed oil. And so we give it a shake -a and we, you know, we're kind of, we admire it a little bit when we first get it. We just admire this. It's just like, holy cow, this is some crazy good stuff. It looks awesome. Let's, let, so let's sniff it. And right away, this is a tobacco vanilla twist. So I don't get tobacco right off out of here. And let me tell you a little bit about this one. Because I don't get a whole ton of tobacco. I get like a little bit of vanilla but i kind of get a citrus i kind of get like a citrus vanilla but when you warm it up and you put it in your hand or you put it in your beard the tobacco really starts to come out and you get a nice vanilla tobacco the citrusy scent that i'm getting kind of wears off and i don't know the exact scent profile he doesn't put the exact scent profile on here it's 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 tobacco vanilla twist well maybe the twist is a little bit of sherbet or a little bit of citrusy but this is a really good tobacco vanilla with a twist scent that I like and I am happen to be wearing today and I like the I like the smell of it it smells good then you have uh the second banana the second banana look at that there's Diddy Kong on there I, I think that's Diddy Kong right Diddy Kong he's got the eight on his shirt <laughs> and so you got uh the same uh carrier blend here proudly made in America in Ohio in Ohio that is banana split Sunday banana split Sunday and that's exactly what it smells like it smells like a good banana split you get a little bit of a chocolate it smells like a banana split like I don't know how else to describe it It smells like banana split it doesn't last a whole long time in your beard if you're familiar with like tropical type of scents that don't last as super long that means it's not 10 to 12 hours you're talking six to eight I mean there you go. Diddy Kong. And then what do you have other than Diddy Kong? You've got Donkey Kong. I think that, I don't know what his name is. Is his name Donkey? I mean, you got Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong. I, comment down below. Is his name Donkey or does he have a new Donkey? Man, it's been like 30 years since I've played this game. Oak Barrel Musky Cologne. Oak Barrel Musky Cologne. So let's see. I definitely get musky cologne right out of the bottle. When I warm this up, some of that oak comes out a little bit more. I get a little bit of oak in the bottle, but more of it comes out when it warms up. And then you get that musk as well throughout the day. It turns into just a really nice cologne scent, but it's a little bit on the oak side. So if you don't like oak, you might not like this cologne, but I tend to like oak when it's subtle like this. And this is one of the better oak smells uh, that I've ever had in a beard oil because oak can be one of those hit or miss. It's either too strong or it's just, it can be good. And this just happens to be one of those good ones where it's not overpowering. 
doesn't uh, make my snifferuga a, a little too much. So, and then we have the Smash Brothers green, cherry green apple, Smash Brothers. And this is like Mario and Luigi, like the Smash Brothers. Smash. All right. And you get cherry and green apple. You So right away, cherry. Cherry is very strong right away. What I noticed when I wore this, though, out of the bottle, the cherry is strong. But when you warm it up, the cherry starts to fade, and then the apple comes out. And then you just get a nice, really nice, just sour, sweetish apple type scent. So you get a little bit of that cherry. You get a little bit of that apple. It's blended together real nice. Really good job on that one, Sean. If you like cherries and apples, it's a good one. Not necessarily a fall scent, what we're coming to. Great spring scent. But I could wear it all times of year because I like the smell of cherry, and I like the smell of apple. And then we have... Tood Town. T Ood Town. Can you guess what that one's going to be? So this is, oh man, this is, uh, what's that? Uh, what's the little dinosaur guy's name? Oh, uh, he had it like, oh, oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Comment down below what his name is, unless I get it before the end of the video. But Blackberry and Ood. Blackberry and Ood. You said Ood. Huh, oh, man, this is just a good scent. This is just a good scent. I, I love Ood. And when I wore this one, that oud is changed just enough by the blackberry. The blackberry is not overpowering. You don't get like this super fruit scent out of it. It's definitely oud. You definitely get oud. But that blackberry changes the oud just enough to make it something new and creative that I haven't really smelled before. And it reignited my love of oud. So that's right. Sean, you reignited my love of oud. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. Tood Town to Oud Town is a fantastic scent. Probably the one that I wore the most out of all of these. And then you have Pink Peach. Pink Peach. You would think maybe it's a pink lemonade. Nope. Southern Tobacco. Southern Tobacco. So I like that he did that because it's not like a, a Pink Peach Lemonade, which Pink Peach, you would think maybe Pink Peach lemon Lemonade. Nope. Southern Tobacco. Southern Tobacco. And when I first smell this, I get really just like a nice peachy tea scent. Maybe peach tea is kind of what I get out of it. It's sweet. It's nice. When I warm it up in my hand, that's when the, the tobacco comes out a little bit more. It's not an overpowering tobacco. If you're a tobacco-ite, you're not going to be like, oh, this is this, this great tobacco scent. It's just enough to add into the peach and make its own unique scent. Like, And the peach isn't overpowering either. You get a nice just blended well together, subtle hints of peach, subtle hints of tobacco, and you can get them different depending on how the day is going and the time of day. Not that it, it, it's on a timer or anything. It's just one time you get a whiff and it's a little bit of peach. The next time you get a whiff, you get a little bit of tobacco and it's not overpowering. It's just really, really nice. I like that too. This could be my second favorite out of this whole thing. I don't know. I have a lot of these 8-bit ones. And the one thing that I can say since 8-bit came around, not only does he have amazing artwork that he's doing himself, but He's figured out the scent game because I've had some of his scents before, previously before 8-Bit. And ever since he became 8-Bit, he figured out the scent game and the feel and beer game. And I'm just, I'm really proud of where he's come from. And uh, that's why I like to do reviews like this because it gives me, it's somebody that I support outside uh, of making a review. I, I purchase product from him because I like it and I like his scent profiles. Uh, an amazing owner, which I also like to support. But these things, I can feel confident coming on camera and telling you guys, like, putting my support behind it of, like, these are really good. And knowing that you're going to get something in here that you like. All our scents are different, and we like a little bit different of things. So you're not going to like every scent that I like, but you're going to find something that you like. And we can all relate somehow to Nintendo. So... To me, it brings back a lot of those memories when I'm looking at the labels of like, oh, yeah, I remember playing this game with my sister or whatnot. And I love the memory side of it. It's almost as good as the scent side of it. So all the memory side is good as well. So why not make memories have good sense while you're taking care of your beard? That's what I love about 8-Bit. And, you know, maybe you'll like that too. So let me know what you think down below. Give me a comment. Remember, the 2021 Beardies are coming. Voting is going to be open soon to or nominations to nominate who you think should win in each category. And that's coming up soon. That's going to be available on faithfullybearded.com. So bookmark that page, save it, put it on your home screen, however you access it. Put it on there so you know, um, you know, follow me on Instagram, 
faithfully underscore bearded and uh, or faithfully dot bearded, faithfully bearded on Instagram. Just search for it. And uh, also keep an eye on the comments here because we'll let you know when it's live on the website. But keep checking back. And we're going to have that up so you can make your opinion known on who you want to win a beardy. So don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up. We're coming up on fall. We're coming up on the beardies. And I thank you all for watching this video. So until I talk to you guys again soon, have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love each and every one of you. Without you, I cannot do this. I do it because of you guys. So thank you. And until I talk to you guys again soon, be bearded, be you, and God bless.